open in downtown Las Vegas, only to end rather abruptly. Take a look, just after its launch, the driverless shuttle comes to a stop because of an accident. It sounds like a joke, but it actually happened. 13 Action News reporter David Schumann joins us live with how the company is defending the shuttle. David. This is no joke. It was the first day on the streets for the autonomous vehicle and everything was going smoothly. Then the shuttle stopped right here in the road because it sensed a truck backing up into the alleyway. The problem was the truck driver didn't see the shuttle and this is what happened. It was a fender bender in the street. The question everyone's asking now, whose fault was this crash? Our vehicle operated the way it was designed. It saw something that was in the road, it shouldn't have been there, it stopped. A vice president with the company that created this driverless shuttle says human error caused this fender bender, the truck driver's error. Until the mishap, it had been a successful demonstration of the first autonomous vehicle on the streets of Las Vegas. It made me look twice because I was looking for the driver and people are facing both ways and no driver. <laughs> Unbelievable. Through a system of sensors, GPS, and communication with the traffic lights, the shuttle had been making its loops without incident. Even so, there were safety concerns. How can you trust something that's controlled by a computer when computers, I deal with computers every day, I work in tech support, so I know how faulty this kind of stuff could be. When the shuttle sensed a delivery truck backing up, it stopped, but it was right in the truck's path and in the driver's blind spot. We were all like, oh my gosh, she's gonna hit us. And there was no way to warn it, there's no horn. And if we were all drivers, we could have stopped and reversed, but we, we couldn't. The driver, who police cited for the crash, says it just shows the technology wasn't ready for city streets. We're told there is a horn on the shuttle, and the company could make changes after looking into why it didn't go off. You just gotta make it better. You can't let the fear stop you from the future. No one on board was hurt. The shuttle will continue to run downtown for free for the next year. Reporting live, David Schumann, 13 Action News.